welcome to the blue corner for your next fight, Cedric Hill. Get some featherweights inside, Cedric Hill. 0-1 in his young career, made his debut in November of last year. Lost to DJ Singh in round one. Good opportunity for Cedric Hill to get some more cage time. Training here in San Antonio, Sydney Spratt, happy friendly time. Yeah, he's got a big frame for a featherweight. Six foot tall, 75 inch reach, it's a long reach. We saw those two light evolutions just a second ago. 75 inch reach, 76 inch reach, this guy's a 145er. Same span, you see if we can use that, that advantage. He's, he's a fair amount taller than his opponent who will see here in just a second. Yeah, it's, 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 looking at him over there in the, in the, in the circle, you can see if he, he strikes his fingers, his fingers touch his knees, but standing straight up. He's got a very, very long arm for, for a guy in his weight class. Please welcome to the red corner, Justin Weschenfelder. Justin Weschenfelder, the 36-year-old, making his amateur debut. Scratching this one off the bucket list, that's cool, man. That's, that's fun, especially if you train hard and take your training serious. It's a great way. I mean, this is the best way. It's really the only way to test yourself at the highest level of martial arts. You know, as, as an older guy, you can have, you know, Hometown kid is Justin. I can call him kid. I'm older than him. <laughs> I just wanted to make that clear. I am older by a, a year and plus, so I get to call him kid. Let's but, not talk about his age here, real. Yeah. I'm always love to be his father's young friend. <laughs> <laughs> Training out of San Antonio, but is a Southside native hometown. Antonio, so two San Antonio fighters going at it. That's going to be a story of the night as well. We look at our tail of the tape, brought to you by Climate Label. Both y'all mentioned that reach for Cedric Hill. Came in at 75 inches. Trust us on that one. And six foot. He's trying to wait to vision. Let's get our official introductions. Here's Wayne Leggett. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Private Label is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury Amateur Series Featherweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet tall and he weighed in officially at 144.2 pounds. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, by way of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Tonight, he looks for his first win as an amateur. This is Cedric. Hill. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet seven inches tall, and he weighed it officially at 143.2 pounds. Fighting out of the south side of San Antonio, Texas. Tonight, he makes his amateur debut. This is Master W, Justin Weschenfelder. Your referee in charge, Nick Gonzalez. The ghost getting his first assignment. Muay Thai versus Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu guy throws a hard low kick. It's his first fight, you can tell he's excited. Yeah. He definitely has that first fight movement. Sandra Kill, a little bit more calm right now. Having already fought once. Yeah, it's interesting there, Justin, is, uh, you know, when he throws those kicks, Alex, you see those hands go straight to the floor. Be interesting to see how Cedric Hill responds to that later in the fight. So Cedric going to plant his feet and just nuke a straight right. Yeah. As soon as Master W throws a, throws a kick. You, 
it was actually Cedric who, who initiated that clinch. And now I'm only assuming, but I would imagine the House of Jiu-Jitsu fighter is going to try to do some Jiu-Jitsu, and I would imagine the Pete Sprat Muay Thai fighter is going to try to do some Muay Thai. But you never know. Yeah, sometimes this happens, Alex, where people think, you know, he's a Jiu-Jitsu guy. Well, my Jiu-Jitsu is better, even though I'm a Muay Thai guy. And they try to get their ego involved in, in the fight. Yeah, I might own and operate a greasy Maha, but I prefer to stand the box in my fights, so never tell. Well, I happen to know Alex Morello's <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu is pretty good, <laughs> so... Stances here for a second. It's almost like he's he's uh, an actor in playing a fighter. In a, yeah. a lot of kicks for both guys. All right, now we go to the ground. So that's where the, the frame difference, I believe, played a big role. I mean, <clears throat> Cedric was able to just kind of like you know use his size to negate that body lock takedown. That was a good takedown there from Master W, but but he didn't stay on top for. For, for any time at all. You know, one thing I like to see Cedric do is use his jab, you know, find his cross, but really use the jab and just start to measure the range and reaction of his opponent. So both guys are just kicking a lot, kicking and clinching a lot. Makes kind of a weird fight. Yeah, Justin with the great hair. Doing pretty good so far, throwing some spinning kicks. If anything, the activity of Master W, Justin, is, is winning in this round. Yeah. I mean, he is moving forward. He is throwing a lot. Shin high and hands down. He's making a win. Yeah, he is fearless when it comes to his attack because he is running him down, chasing him. He's also fighting at a debutist pace. Yeah. This is hard to sustain for nine minutes. Oh, he's oh. the right hand. There is that it. Oh, that's it. I think, I think, I think he was in, uh, yeah. He waited for the like, bell. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was, was good. The ref did his job. He didn't stop anything until that bell rang. Yeah, very, very close. I couldn't tell if the fight was over or if this is round two coming up, but uh, you see Master W is pretty busted up. My right hand did some damage. It's funny, I mean, he had that round lost until the last two seconds, and, I, and then I think Cedric actually wins that round. Yeah, it looks like Alex Master W may have had some stitches recently. Look at his right eye. You can see where the stitches look like they just came out. Oh, yeah. Where's that right hand? That's that long reach, Alex. And you see Master W look right at the referee like, hey, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, it definitely passed the test, but you can tell it's not old at all. Good eye, now, Michael. I mean, you can even see the, the, the suture in oh, yeah. like entry points. That was a gnarly cut. Oh, that was a good check. Didn't stop him from the kick again. Doesn't look like an actor now, huh, Michael? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Man, his striking style is very traditional. Uh -oh. oh, as he gets dropped by Cedric again. What? <laughs> oh, that's under the chin, I mean. Cedric looks to just square up. A very unorthodox style from Master W here. Justin in a little bit of trouble here. Cedric Hill on top. He's trying to hold his posture down. He's using a lot of strength here, Alex, and Cedric just kind of letting him, letting him pull on him because he knows that's, that's temporary. That does not last forever. Yeah, positionally, Mash W's all over the place. Uh oh, that is in, and oh, that is deep. probably going to be enough. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, no. There we go. That's a W survive. Fundamental rear naked choke defense really paying off. Oh, he's oh, back in. He's got to fight the top in. hand now. I mean, he's got to fight that top hand. Uh oh. Is that squeeze going to be enough? No, good defense again. Oh, oh look at the blood just pouring out of the nose. <laughs> hey, man, props to Master Dubs. He's uh, he's wow. as tough as they come. Yeah, man. He could he could he could have been out of that fight, and then no one would have given him any grief. But he chooses to stay in here through this adversity and, and, and try to give himself another chance to win. Survive two big attempts. 
Oh, he's choking now. He's into this. He is back up, ready to fight. And he's throwing hands. I think you made him mad, Cedric Hill. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. That's a double and, the and he's just bleeding all over his opponent as he looks for ground and pound. Cedric recovering half guard. Wow. Cedric's as confused as we oh. are. Yeah. And man, he's bleeding. That nose is bleeding. Awesome. What a comeback from Master W. Oh, wow. And Justin Weschenfeld. Wow. Yeah, can he come back and win this fight? He's got 30 seconds left, a little over 30 seconds left in this round. Like he is on arm. top. That was a head and arm throw. I mean, that was like a, man, that was crazy. That, that was all heart. That was brute strength and heart. That's all that was. And oh my God, he's got a guillotine here. No way. That's a classic guillotine. That's not, that's a good guillotine. He needs a little lower body control. Oh, oh. slipped on his own blood. What an impressive round. <laughs> What right. just happened? I mean, these guys are getting fight of the night so far. That was excellent. Man. I don't know about y'all, but I can smell the blood. Oh, yeah. You can smell it right now. Nose blood also has a different, like, viscosity to it. I mean, yeah, there's no... You know Ooh. those blood will see it. It's because it's got more than just blood in there. <laughs> yeah, you can lube a car engine with as much blood <laughs> as in that rain right now. But... Cedric Hill with a rear naked choke position for most of this round. You see the blood just pouring out of the face of Master W. There's that belly to belly, body lock throw, and then straight to the mouth. He had an arm bar right there if he would have taken it. Now Master W he went for blood. Yeah. <laughs> and then Cedric is like, what is this machine that I'm pissed off? Because Master W comes back. Does Master W oh, win round wow. two? I mean, I don't Yeah, I think it, so. If not on the judges' cards, at least in our hearts. Oh man. <laughs> All right, we'll see. The blood has stopped temporarily, but I don't know. It might just take one more connect to get that blood going again. I mean, yeah. Justin comes out immediately, lands a head kick. Not a lot behind it, but it did land. He had to have done some sort of traditional martial arts in his in his in his day. I mean. He's not throwing any jabs, all high kicks and brawling. His side kick, it just takes so much energy. Mm. Cedric looking for that right hand again. At first, Michael, I thought it was the stitches that opened up when the blood just started gushing out everywhere. His nose. Yeah, but it was the nose, of course. It's gross, too. <laughs> yeah, man, he was just clearing the mechanism. He's good. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get that breath. Not backing down an inch. Nasty W. Oh, he ate it right hand right oh. on the chin and again. Yeah, I feel like if Cedric just got active with his punches and just started throwing some five, six, seven punch combinations, I just feel like it would be too much for for Justin. But I mean we also thought that he was going to finish those rear naked chokes in the last round. There's a nice body shot there from Cedric. Mm. Cedric teeing off there. Misses. Just past the halfway mark of our final round. Now Cedric relaxing a little bit in his, in his strikes now. And trying to keep the distance. Does not want to close the distance again. He does not want to get in that body lock position again. He does not want to get into a position where he's got to grapple with uh, with Justin. Justin, let's go for the body lock. We need to get in close. Good check there from Cedric. Man, Captain W, Master W, gonna be, he's going to be banged up after this fight. <laughs> yeah. In his shins and his feet and his face. And he is going to look the part of a fighter oh, afterwards. The best part about Justin, it's 
Still seems like he's having the time of his life inside, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Good shot. Can he finish? Hold bottom half guard. It's bold. Create space. Did you stand back up? Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was going for that body lock throw again or if he just pulled guard. I think it was a little bit of both. Yeah. Not, not, yeah I don't know. If, I think only part of that was on purpose. So. <laughs> Man, what a fun fight. Yeah, I mean, that awesome. round two was maybe the best round of amateur movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Congratulations to both these guys. I'm pretty sure Tetris going to win a decision. But, uh, but man, if, uh, if Master W was just looking to get some cage experience in life, I mean, he got it. That yeah. was great. I don't even want him to announce a winner. I just want both of them <laughs> yeah. to leave yeah. right now so I, don't have to, so I don't have to say one one over the other. That was awesome. That's what it's about, man, the heart. Yeah, I tell my guys all the time, like, why do we do this? And they're like, to, to train hard, to be the best. I'm like, no, it's, it's to have fun, guys. And if you're not having fun, then stop doing this. It is, it is truly to have fun. Now, not every aspect is the most fun. If you're getting, you know, round robbed and shark tanked, it's tough. Fights get tough. But we ultimately do it because we enjoy, we enjoy martial arts. And what we watched, two guys enjoy martial arts. That was so much fun. And that was only our fourth fight of the evening. We thought the last fight was our fight of the night in a moment. And it's just going to continue. I'm telling you, this is this is going to be a card to remember. There's just an energy in the building. Yeah, there is, especially as this building starts to fill up. Yeah. This, uh, this is pretty crazy, and these fans are getting their money's worth today. All right. Let's see how the judges scored this fight. Here is Wayne Leggett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision brought to you by HKA USA. Judge Ruben Carrion scores the fight 29-28 Hill. Judge Ray Campos scores the fight 29-28 Westenfelder. And Judge Gino Garcia scores the fight 30 to 27, declaring your winner by split decision, Cedric Hill. Man, I was getting to the on Cedric's face, and if he lost this fight, <laughs> we might have lost him tonight. <laughs> Man, so like, Captain W, Master W gets round two. Wow. But that's it. That's like, it. no, no, that's it. <laughs> the judges got to get on their A game tonight.